already today the strike has caused chaos across the city. A lot of people can't get to work and a lot of people aren't going to work. Um, the flights, as you mentioned, there's been a huge amount of delays. One of the runways has closed down. Normally two are operating. At the moment, flights that do take off are over an hour and a half delayed and 230 have been cancelled. Um, last night was another night of clashes, um, some of them violent. A lot of tear gas was used in certain areas and the protesters employed basically hit and run t tactics where they'd uh, block roads or confront police and then slip away to another location. Um, later in the day, they're expecting to have seven large marches, but they have yet to begin. And all this has already had an effect on the stock market. It dropped 700 points today. And Daniel, already a strong response, uh, at least rhetorically anyway, from uh, Carrie Lamb. Exactly, yes. And she didn't back down at all. She refused to resign. Just to remind your viewers, this is one of the five key demands that protesters have. And so for them, the fact that she didn't even really address their five de demands is likely to cause anger more than any um, sense that they'd be willing to compromise. They see her as someone who really hasn't addressed any of their demands. They have five, and one of them that they always bring up is an investigation into the police actions um, that started escalating the protests about a month ago when the police, they say, were very violent in an unpromoted manner. The fact that she didn't even address this is likely to leave a lot of protesters more angry um, than before she spoke. She also said that the reason that she hadn't been addressing police... Uh, have, sorry, haven't been addressing the press for the last two weeks was partly because of the insurance costs of her appearing anywhere and the fact that anywhere she goes is likely to be targeted by protesters.